Hi guys, welcome to Sons of Kane. In this video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're back to Kev's journey, my karate adventure, and Chris is going to teach me the sword work. So this is just the first basic move, we're going to run it nice and slow. For those who've never done this before, I'm on this learning journey myself, so this will be a very slow breakdown of the first move. I will teach Cal the move first, and then we're going to adapt it to suit Kev. So this is the first kata, it is six moves. So I will be teaching this to Callum, who's new to this. Uh, it's new to me as well, so I'm beginning my journey with this as well. So it will be refined as we go forward. So first motion, blade up, and we're gonna unlock with the thumb. And as we unlock, our right hand comes over, and grasps the blade. So as we draw the blade, we're going to step forward and we're going to rotate through 90 degrees as the blade is being drawn. So as we step forward, it's being drawn. Some styles will actually use this as a strike as it comes through. Because of the length of the blade, we need to use our left arm to pull the sheath clear as we go into our first cut. So make sure we're not high, dropping down, so it's going to be just slightly lower than the hand. Okay. So the first sequence from there is unlock, grasping the blade, turning through 90 as we step and draw, pulling back slightly, making sure our blade is at the right level. So from this point here, imagine there's somebody slightly taller behind you and we're going to use the tip. Always move the tip first and it's coming directly behind. So it's like a rear snap. My left hand will come up and grasp the blade. Bringing the blade down, so it's going to be striking from the top. Making sure you're not going to be going all the way to the floor. So it's just past the hip or to the groin. So that is that sequence. So from here, behind, both hands, cutting down. That's the first cut. We then will be clearing or shaking the blood. So the left hand will go to the sheath and using our thumb to hold it in place. So this will be coming over the shoulder. So the blade is up and it's level with the floor. So it's not dropped down or too high or over here. So it's over the shoulder, level with the floor. And then we're going to do an outside to inside flick to shake the blood. So our hand will slide forward and cut the mouth of the blade turn the sheath slightly so we can feel the black of back of the blade running across the back of our hand find the mouth of the sheath and as we're pushing in we're resheathing the blade and turning it 90 so the blade is back up in the original start position and as we finish our foot, foot comes up if you're new to striking especially with bladed weapons so after we've got the draw and we're ready for the strike, I see a lot of people, they are just moving their arms and do like a chopping motion. So what you're doing is with your top hand you are pushing and with the bottom hand you're pulling. So most of the power is actually from the little finger. So it's a push and pull. So not only are you striking down, you're getting, if I exaggerate, you're getting this elliptical slicing motion as well. So as you're cutting, you're bringing it down, pushing, pulling. But this is your control as well. So it's a straight, direct cut. So we have a strike, strike, this comes over, first cut. As Chris has just shown you, um, that's everybody. We're now in a wheelchair. Blade is still facing the same way on the side. But as you can see, I've got little bits of plastic and a backrest that's going to make things a little bit interesting. Also this is not tied on. Principle still the same, the hand's coming over, the blade's turning. I've made contact and the thumb has released the blade. The strike, I've got to there and I'm kind of at full extension with my right arm. I'm going to pull back my left for the first strike. As the blade comes up now and the tip first for the stab at the back, 
Left hand's coming across, I'm just resting the scabbard on my legs. Hand comes up, push and pull as with the able bodied to strike through. As the tip comes up for getting rid of the blood, I'm re picking up my scabbard and bringing it into position. There is no footwork, there's no moving forward, I shake the blood. I've got my hand in the position I need to cup, I've got extended 90 degrees, the hand's coming over, thumb to thumb, I can find the back, come through, if it's come forward, back to turn. If we use the principle with the walking cane, it could be here for any reason, it could be in this hand and you want to strike, you're coming over and you're striking through. Okay, so that's just a normal cross strike or a number three, four, depending on which hand you are with your 12 strikes. It comes through. As it comes up, you can use the two-handed strike, which is quite good, or you can actually still keep a guard position and do the one-handed. It hasn't got the same weight as, as the, as the cap, uh, sword. As it comes up, we've got inside to outside fan block. You can bring it through into this position for either more crook strikes or just to end. We'll be playing around with the cane with sword strikes because there's a few that I've seen that I kind of like and some that will not cross over. Okay. As with most, most things, we can adapt with the cane. Um, I did actually have a friend who used to walk around with his cane, he used to hold it like this. Um, but when I walk, I tend to hold it like in this position. But you may be just here, but you can apply the same principles. Getting your hand in the right position. First strike, second strike, down strike, and then we've got a lower fan block strike. You can, coming through, if you change the position of the crook, you've got a different technique. So don't just stick to one motion, play around, different angles, different ways of holding the cane, and you'll find you'll get different strikes in. So utilise this with empty hand and with other weapons, and you'll find you'll, you'll get yourself a lot more techniques. If I am using it this way, I can go straight into the strikes, but I can use my left hand. I've got exactly the same motion, but on the other side. So always practice both hands. Practice holding the cane a different way to get different strikes and techniques. We hope you like this video, guys. Um, I love the idea of these uh, katanas, um, and I can't wait to continue with it. As you can see, like from the first video, it is basic and we're going to be doing this together um, throughout the year. So, really looking forward to it. Drop us a line down below. If you've got any tips or tricks, give us a little, little nudge down there. Give us a thumbs up, a like. As you can see, you can adapt this to the cane very easily as well, which is why I got interested into this. So, as always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, ring the bell, free the fear.